Hello everybody and welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We're going to be painting this bushel full of hydrangeas. Um, so you want to sketch out this little bushel first and I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. It's not too hard. Um, basically you're going to paint, a, or I always say paint, draw out a bushel uh, that you can think of it as a flower pot like so. And then you're going to section it off into three like supporting beams. They're not beams, obviously, but they wrap around the bushel like this. And then you're just going to draw in the individual wooden panels like this. And it's just as simple as that. You can add little kind of dots on the supporting beams uh, to resemble nails. Um, and then you can keep this area clear because this is where we're gonna be painting our hydrangeas. <clears throat> so once you have that drawn out for yourself, I just you know gave myself a little guide of where I want my flowers, flower heads to go. Um, so you're welcome to do the same. You just don't wanna pencil it to, um, Partially because we don't want the pencil marks to stand out. So that's why I'm erasing mine a little bit. And we are going to start with the top part. So painting our hydrangeas and such. We're going to be using two shades of blue. If you only have one blue, then just make sure you add some black to the second uh, shade to make it um, a little bit darker. And... Um, First, we're going to start out just by almost just kind of dotting our blue in a circular shape. So I'm going to just go in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing here. So you want to angle your, your paintbrush just sort of almost on the side and just dot these guys in a circular shape and this will resemble like a rough uh, a rough looking hydrangea. And you're gonna just replicate that exact same thing for all of your hydrangeas. So I'm gonna have another one um, just coming out here. And you can accommodate some of them so for example, this one I'm not making perfect, perfectly circular because I'm gonna have a, a green leaf or something um, going over top of it. So you can account for that when you're plotting your hydrangeas. And while they're still <clears throat> a little bit wet, this is when you can go in with your darker blue and just dot on um, just a portion of your hydrangea. So I'm doing it on the bottom because my light source is coming from the top. So I do want the top to be a little bit brighter than the bottom. And we can go over this again once it completely dries to really make it pop. So don't, don't worry about being too like specific with your dotting here. So while your hydrangeas are drying, we're gonna switch over to painting the, the green leaves of our hydrangea bush. So you're gonna pick up your desired color of green. I'm just mixing a few together so I have this really nice kind of warm shade, but you can use uh, as many as you'd like. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna start off with a lighter shade almost a lime green and then I'm going to later go over some of them with a darker shade just sort of like we did with our hydrangeas so you can just paint your leaves however you would like so you can have some of them you know, sticking out every which way.
And as you get towards the center area of your bushel, you don't have to be as you know specific with your um, <laughs> leaves. You can just kind of make them these random circles. Just make sure that you leave white gaps in between them so that it actually looks like there are individual leaves. So if you have a round brush with a nice pointed end like I do here, you can just use that and create these nice little leaves. I'm just adding in different shades of green here to vary it up while my leaves are still wet. Now I'm going to switch back to my blue for a little bit because our hydrangeas have dried a little bit. They're still a little bit wet, which is good because I'm going to go ahead and just add in some of those darker blue dots on top of the darker shadows that I already painted. And because it's a lot more dry than it was before, those uh, um, shadows, I suppose, or those darker blue dots are really going to stand out instead of blanding, blanding. <laughs> blending completely in with the existing blue color, which is great because it adds a little bit of um, extra detail and dimension to our hydrangeas. Because they're still a tiny bit damp, they do blend in a tiny little bit, but that's really nice because it, it makes the transition um, between the darker blue and the lighter blue a lot more gradual and natural looking. So you might want to find the sweet spot between where your blue, the existing blue is like a lot more dry than it was before, but still a little bit damp to allow for that detail. Okay. And now I'm just going to go in because I have still quite a few white gaps in between my green leaves, which is okay. Like we do want some white gaps, but I don't like how uh, large some of those white gaps are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some black to my green watercolor. And I'm going to just go over some of those sections. And they don't even have to be like necessarily leaf shapes that I'm going over these sections with. So while that is drying, we can move on to our bushel or our little wooden crate. So I'm just trying to think what the best way to tackle this is. I think I am going to paint my uh, wooden panels first. So you're just going to take some uh, brown watercolor that's mixed with a tiny bit of black. If your brown watercolor is already dark enough, then don't worry about adding black, but mine is really close to an orange, so I always like to add a little bit of black. Um, and you can just start painting on your panels. And you want to leave like a, a tiny, tiny white gap in between each of these bars and the panel because we're gonna be painting that panel on in a moment and we want it to look a little bit not cartoony but you'll see what I mean just looks a lot nicer because we're also adding white gaps in between our panels like between each panel um, just to make it look like like panels and if we don't leave a white gap then you can't really see that they are panels Now I'm going to use a liner brush just to fix some sections here because with my bigger brush it's kind of hard to be um, super hyper detailed because the brush is so big. Now what we can do is add some shadows, so I'm going to add shadows just to 
the right side of each plank. And this is because our light source, like I've said before, is coming from the opposite side. So um, the shadow is going to be on the opposite side. And it's okay if this shadow is like super, super harsh, especially if your planks have already dried. We are going for more of a cartoony effect, so it's okay if it's not completely blended in this, you know, beautiful gradient. This one, actually, I am going to paint entirely darker because it's completely on the other side of the barrel, so it should be, you know, quite dark. Same with this one. Okay, so the next step is just filling in the these uh, parallel horizontal bars. And what we're going to do is just mix a whole lot of black in with uh, our brown. And I'm going to start with the bottom one here. Oops. And again, we're going to try to leave a light gap. Doing our middle one as well. And as, as close as you can get to those planks without touching them is what you want to do here. Okay, and then finally our last one here. We're going to have to avoid the flowers with this last one. Okay, so this is moving along really nice. It already looks great, but we are going to add some final details just to make this as beautiful as it possibly can be. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do is try to define these green leaves a little bit. Uh, I don't really have a plan for this. I think there's two options. You can either go in with white acrylic paint and sort of define some of them, uh, or you can just go with another layer of green watercolor on top. I might try a bit of both. Um, so let's see. So basically what I'm doing here is just picking random leaves or 
you know, in, in the event where there's just a blotch of green, then I'm defining a leaf and I'm just painting over top of it so that it adds a little bit more variety to our whole green bunch here. You can one more time go in um, with your blue and even add a little bit of black this time to really make those details pop in your blue hydrangea. So you're adding a, a few more dots. And the last thing that we can do is take very, very pigmented black and we're just going to be adding some nails to our little horizontal bars here and it doesn't have to be on every single one but it's just going to be this little like flick of of paint just to show that these planks have been nailed together And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit like on this video, and I'll see you in the next one.